what's good it's your girl jasmine and we're back with another video and in this video we got 10 things that you're we are supposedly consuming wrong hey everything is supposedly wrong in this world the way we eat or we drink the way we sleep it's always something right so let's see what this video is about i got told to react to this video because i'm gonna be blown away i'm gonna be amazed like what like are you serious so don't forget to like comment subscribe and push that notification bell so you get a notification when i post follow me on my instagram at beasting with j with that being said i sit back relax and let's get into this video wrong Amazing. Number 10. Yogurt. If you like to eat yogurt, you may occasionally find a liquid that collects yep. on the top and think it's gross, pouring it down the drain. But not so fast. All you're really doing is pouring essential nutrients down the drain. It's much healthier to consume the liquid because it contains calcium, protein, and B12, three of the healthiest nutrients found in yogurt. You don't have to drink the liquid, just stir it back into your yogurt before eating, or just shake the yogurt beforehand so you don't have to see it separated at the top. That liquid is known as whey, and Little Miss Muffet eats it, so you should too. <laughs> Number 9. Chicken Wings We love them chicken wings. It's easy to think there's no wrong way to eat them since they're finger food, right? While it may be socially acceptable to eat chicken wings any way you want, dealing with the bones can be a hassle, so don't just wing it. That's just foul play, because there is an easy way to solve this problem. Here's how you can debone the wing with ease. Hold your chicken wing like a game controller, and twist the ends back and forth until you feel the car- See man, I ain't gonna hold you. If you hungry, you know what I'm saying, like hungry hungry, you ain't about to sit there and play with no chicken wing, man. <laughs> you ain't gonna play it, you just gonna know your way around that chicken wing and not get on them bones. That's just facts. But if you got time, you ain't that hungry, and you just nibbling on some chicken, then I guess you can twist around and play with it like that. But anybody got time to be twisting around like that? You know what I'm saying? Just just know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Just know what you're doing. Cartilage break. Then, pull the second bone out the end. This leaves one bone in the wing. You then put the chicken wing in your mouth and pull it off the other bone, leaving you with only chicken to chew. This is the best way because you get to eat all the meat at once, without the risk of encountering a bone when you chew. Number 8. Hard-boiled eggs uh -oh. For many people, the hardest part of cooking hard-boiled eggs is peeling the shell off. If you're struggling with this or avoiding making hard-boiled eggs altogether so you don't have to deal with it, chances are you're doing it wrong. The best solution is to add a teaspoon of baking soda to the water before you begin, which raises the pH of the water. What? Boil the eggs for about 12 minutes with 2 inches of water above the eggs. When you're done cooking and have cooked the eggs, crack both ends on the counter and peel off some of the shell so you have a hole at the top and bottom of the egg. Now comes the fun part. All you have to do is blow on one end of the egg and the shell should come right off. Bro, again, I mean, I don't really be cooking boiled eggs like that, but I mean, I eat them. They do be taking a while, but... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be remembering to blow into the egg for it to come out the shell type thing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know. What, what y'all think? That's a, little, that's a little much. They may be hard boiled, but they don't have to be hard peeled. Number seven, oranges. Uh -oh. Oranges are a good source of vitamin C and folate, but they can be a hassle to peel. Mm -hmm. Here's an easy way, and you'll be annoyed you didn't know sooner. All you have to do is cut off the top and bottom of the orange. Then make a slice in the peel and simply unroll your orange. It's now neatly sectioned and easy to eat. Sort of like a fruity Toblerone. Aren't you glad we told you this simple orange hack? Bro, Number what? What, bro? You telling me I could have just been doing that the whole time? Instead of just getting the orange smell all over my fingers? Peeling the skin? Come on, man. Six, toothpaste. It's not a food, but toothpaste is also expended by use so it's cost-effective to consume it properly. The first mistake people make when using toothpaste relates to the amount of it they use. Many people run a long strip of toothpaste across the surface of bristles on their toothbrush, but this is actually too much toothpaste. A pea-sized amount is plenty. Another common mistake people make with toothpaste is rinsing their mouth immediately after brushing. This isn't actually what you're supposed to do. Not rinsing allows the fluoride to stay in the mouth and be better absorbed by the teeth protecting them from cavities. Toothpaste also has a few use hacks that can help you with cleaning something other than your pearly whites. Oh, you can word? use it to clean your car's headlights or to get persistent that. strong smells like that. garlic or onions off your hands. Number five, ink and toner. 
If you print things even occasionally, you probably groan every time you get one of those replace ink messages on your computer screen. However, replacing the cartridge right away isn't the most cost-effective solution. Frequently, these messages pop up when your ink has just reached a certain low level, but there is still some left. With ink cartridges, simply take out the cartridge and use an unbent paper clip to pop the reset button on the cartridge. Then continue printing until your printing gets light or totally non-existent. Only then will you have to replace the cartridge. With the larger toner cartridges, take them out and shake them up, then put them back in. Often you can get dozens more pages out of a cartridge by doing this. Bro, who would have thought of that? Because as soon as your computer tell you it's low, you salty because you got to go back and buy another whole ink pack. And those things be adding up, for real. Especially if you're in school or work. Oh, that's ugly. I didn't even know that one. That's nice to know. That's nice to know how many ink things we done threw away. And we could have just put the little bobby pin in there like he said. Man. Number four, leftover pizza. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Don't say nothing silly now. Leftover pizza is good in so many ways. Some people like eating it cold, while before. others prefer to reheat it. But if you're using a microwave or even a traditional oven, you may not be getting the best, tastiest flavor and texture from yesterday's pizza. So, what's the best way to reheat it? Fold your pizza slices up Stop. and put them in a waffle iron. Stop. This keeps the crust crispy Stop. and even remelts the cheese. Plus, you get a cool little grid shape on your pizza. You can Stop even fill it. the little squares with that extra sauce or Parmesan cheese you get from the pizza place. Number three. Bro, if you that hungry, you not about to pull out no waffle pan, no waffle iron to warm up some pizza? When you got a whole microwave right there? You ain't about to do that? What? But if you not that hungry and you just want a little nibble nibble, then you may pull it out. But it ain't... Come on, man. Come on, man. Apples. An apple a day is supposed to keep the doctor away, or so the saying goes. I don't know about that, a but dusty? a whole apple a day will leave more room in your trash or recycling bin. That's why you gotta eat it all. That's right, you can eat the whole apple, including the core. The whole idea of the core being inedible is just a myth. Sure, hmm. apple seeds do release cyanide when digested, but unless you finally chew and eat about 200 apple seeds or about 20 apple cores, you won't receive a fatal dose. Oh, and you shouldn't peel apples either, as the skin oh. contains vitamins. The best way to consume your apple is to rinse it thoroughly. Start from the bottom and eat the whole thing. Skin, stem, and uh -uh. all. Number two, <laughs> we not liquid doing soap. That. I ain't doing if that. If you have to keep buying liquid soap frequently, you may feel like you're washing a lot of money down the drain. Fortunately, there's an easy way to save money and still get your hands clean. Wrap a rubber band around the neck of the pump. This lets it go down part way, but not all the way, so you get a smaller amount of soap with each pump. Don't worry, your hands will get just as clean and you won't have to buy soap as often. You can stretch your soap even further by adding water when the pump bottle starts to run low. You'll be able to stretch the bubbles a lot farther mm, before you have to buy another refill. Number one, pistachios. Pistachios are healthy nuts and they have pretty fun commercials too, but sometimes getting them open is no fun, especially when you're left with the neglected ones that you can't get the shell off. Thankfully, there's an easy solution for this that might save you from going nuts. Just take another pistachio shell and insert it into the crack. You should be able to fit it into most small slits with a bit of pressure, and this will allow you to easily push apart the two sides of the shell. This works because the shells are very strong. This will prevent those yummy pistachio nuts from hibernating indefinitely. Have you been consuming these wrong the whole time? And what hacks help you consume pro Yo, this was crazy. <clears throat> this was crazy. I didn't, I didn't even think about the nuts like that. I don't even be eating peanuts like that or pistachios. I don't be eating that for real. But y'all comment down below what was most interesting to you. You know what I'm saying? That apple thing, I'm not eating no core. I'm not eating no stem. Forget that. I ain't doing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and push that notification bell so you get notifications when I post. Follow me on my Instagram at Beasting with Jay. With that being said, I'll see you guys next video.